This was posted September 20th, 2017. Man, that's how long we've been playing this game. Holy cow. All right, cold water's time. Let's go. Stop your bitching. No, no, nobody cares about crypto. I agree. I don't care about crypto either. I just like screwing with those chuckleheads that bought the crypto shit because I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. I, I don't know. Count. Uh oh, please don't crash. Hey, okay. Um, briefing. How many weapons do we have? 16, uh, three. Oh yeah, plenty of weapons, okay. What's our orders? Indicates enemy plans to reinforce its invasion forced Hong Kong. Uh, where's Hong Kong at? I, ooh, right there, okay, I see it. For some reason, many, many decades ago, I thought this island was Hong Kong. I did. Like I told you, I'm geographically challenged. I do not know how land works. Watching the world air some men. <laughs> yeah. The world is not on fire. We just have a lot of news now that we didn't have 50 years ago. Everybody has a phone that has a camera and a microphone. So we've all been turned into little social media reporters. <laughs> a volunteer reporter. Can, can you be a, a volunteer journalist? That's what everybody is now. Everybody's a volunteer journalist now. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I don't ask where I come up with this shit. I have no idea. It's just my brain. On sonar, new ring ship for I Ultra blame Wyatt. my brain for the things I think. It's kind of loud. Con sonar, new contact kind of bearing. Zero, four, zero, designated Sierra, two. It's my brain's fault. Con sonar, new contact bearing. Zero, four, one, designated Sierra, three. Luda, what? That's Con a little sonar, new contact bearing. Two, six, six, designated Sierra, hmm. four. Con sonar, new contact bearing. Zero, one, five, designated Sierra, five. Con sonar, Sierra, two, is classified right. as We got two warships, we're gonna sink them. Let's go to emergency Main deep and get Consonar. below this layer. Are I gotta move myself. I'm covering up the mini map. Oh, uh, where's the game at? I thought we missed it first. <laughs> uh, oh, did we do it? No way. Ha! Take that! That was quick and easy. <laughs> I love this game. This game is so silly. Uh, we have five more harpoons. I, I want to get rid of the harpoons. Yeah, here we go. So we got three harpoons, three torpedoes, and two decoys. And a partridge and a pear tree. So we're defending Hong Kong. I just want to do it in the deep water. I don't want to do it in shallow water. There's supposed to be some kind of invasion force. I'm hoping that we'll at least see it. I hope we don't just get a message that, oh, you failed. Uh-oh. Okay, here comes submarine. All right. So it's going to be one of two submarines. It's either going to be a Han or it's going to be an Alpha. Because that seems to be the only two submarines in this damn campaign. Yep. And either one of those, we want to be 10,000 yards away. So let's do that. Well, let's give us room to maneuver. So let's start with 15,000 yards. Yep. 
Bearing two four three. Okay. Con sonar, new con. Bring ship for ultra quiet. Two four three. Is that shallow water next to us? It is. We might be able to take advantage of this. Okay. We are gonna go. Boink de bink. Come right to bink. zero one one. Hell if I can get on the other side of this hill, I can I can force their counterfire into the ground. And do we still have target? We do. So let's check it for Han first. Not a Han. Let's go all the way to Alpha. Yep, nope, Alpha. Oh, it's not an Alpha. Huh. What the fuck is it? It's not a Victor. Maybe it's not a submarine. Yep, this might be a ship. I think it's a ship. I'm gonna put the radar up. Uh oh, not a ship. Lower the radar mast. Oh, fuck. All right, sonar, time to do your job. Let's figure out who this is before we lose them. We might lose them in the baffles on this new course. It could be a Victor. Okay. Con sonar, Sierra. How about One that? Is classified as submerged submarine. So we want to get over there. Let's uh come down a little bit so I can speed up I'm gonna speed up without cavitating and we're gonna kind of go on the other side of this little hill here we're gonna use our topography to our advantage Han with a Helen Keller sonar yeah yeah, yeah. really really bad sonar system I wrote the sub brief on that a couple years ago and I don't remember the sonar system uh, it was a ripoff I think it might have been a German World War II sonar that Russia had copied and After China copied the Russian version. Yeah. I'm pretty Con sure that's a true statement. Make turns for right, we're going to skip 10 knots here. Zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Again, we're just trying to make tracks away from these dudes. Not maneuvering. Making turns for passing 300 feet. Whoops. There we go. Get leveled out there. There is a second contact. So from the north side of this island, I want to send a torpedo around and kill him. That's my plan. John's here. How's it going, Jonathan? Says, uh, I can only begin to imagine how ready you are to move on to sea power. Yeah, I know. Yeah, sea power, like, like you said, you were right. Uh, a few months ago, I think this was. You said that this channel is going to change and be much more popular whenever Sea Power comes out. And I think you're 100% right. Sea Power and then that submarine sim, if that ever does come out, those will become the two games we play until eternity. Yeah. Faux show. Sure. You know, I, I was tempted to put the channel on pause. But I decided not to, um, just because we have a good following. And this is fun for me, but my schedule, you know, has been really crazy. I'm taking on more and more responsibility. I'm almost like becoming an adult or something because there's so many things I am responsible for now. I actually have real deadlines now. You know, part, part of the nice things about working for yourself as a YouTuber is you kind of make your own deadlines and you can kind of be willy nilly. But you get to a point, and I've reached this point, I guess back in August. Um, I don't. It happened sometime this year. I can't really narrow it down. Where I'm responsible to other people now for what I do on YouTube and Twitch. And I can't let them down. And so it's just, it's just an added layer, in, and it's more than one. And so it's just become a thing. And uh, on top of that, my health declining is not good. But we don't really talk about that. As far as you guys are concerned, I won't live forever. But don't you worry about that. I'm fixing that shit. Well, we like you share time with us. Yeah, yeah, of course I do. Yeah, I, I've, I've pretty much... My doctor has pulled me off social media for good reasons. He didn't do it lightly. Um, so like I don't go on discord really at all anymore, which is good for me Ever since I stopped going on discord for some reason I've been feeling much better and That's a shame 
because there's really good people on Discord. Um, but for some reason, I spiral out of control on Discord for no reason at all. And um, one, it's fucking embarrassing. But it's also like a medical issue that 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 that, that I have that I don't like talking about because it's like mental health and shit. <clears throat> The problem with mental health is no, nobody can see that you're sick until they read your tweets. <laughs> I suppose that's one way. Yeah. So like I, I got rid of my Instagram channel. I used to have a subbrief Instagram. I deleted that. Um, or I, I at least deleted all the content. The channel might still be there, but I don't log into it anymore. Um, that was more the direction of uh, Department of Justice than anything else. <laughs> but I had to get off that social media anyway. Uh, I have a Facebook channel just for my family. And if you guys follow me on Facebook, that's fine. Just know that that's, that's personal shit. That's not, I'm not talking about video games on that. So you may not be interested is my point on my Facebook channel. Uh, but I, I do have a Twitter and we just went over 10K, which was really kind of nice milestone. But then I started checking out all my friends. All my friends like H.I. Sutton, those guys have like over 100,000 followers. <laughs> and I'm down here celebrating 10K. I'm like, yay, I made it to the big times. And all these actual real naval analysts in their in their in their ivory towers are like golf clap, golf clap for Aaron for making ten thousand. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. Um, and and it's working, which is sad. So going forward, um, I'm probably just going to be on Twitter, purely for promotional reasons. Uh, that's the only reason why that exists. Family, uh, because I live in across the country from my family. Facebook and then YouTube pays the bills with the patreon so got to keep that going but yeah things have things have really come to a head especially on YouTube um, we have sponsors now that buy months literally months multiple months of advertisements on my YouTube channel now and so I'm responsible to the talent company I'm responsible obviously to the sponsor I like have all these responsibilities now that I don't like. And I'm not even a big YouTube channel compared to like Jingles. Jingles has over 600,000 subscribers. I cannot imagine the pressure he's under with deadlines and demands. And he's and he's probably better equipped to handle that kind of pressure too cuz he seems to have no problem running uh, social media. He's on Discord and he's on all the other social platforms. I don't know if he's on Twitter. He may he, he may have done the exact opposite of me. He, he, he may have gone to Discord and forsaken Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> Whereas I went the other way. But yeah, D Discord was driving me crazy. I was getting ready to nuke motherfuckers in our, in our Discord channel. And then I had to take a step back and be like, just because somebody disagrees with me doesn't mean I should nuke them. And my doctor was like, yep, get off Discord. What the fuck's wrong with you? I was like, I just like violence. I just want to kill people. I don't know. So I have, to, I have to tame that animal inside of me. And one of the ways of not feeding that animal is staying off Discord. Because I do have a violent streak that is scary. And my doctor says it's from the Navy, which I don't know if that's true, but that's what I'm blaming it on. I've been conditioned to be a hunter. I, I think it actually has a lot more to do with age. Uh, I've become very impatient with people. Very impatient. And uh, that's not a good trait. You should always be kind. You know, and I try to be kind, but whenever frustration creeps in, kindness tends to take a second seat, you know? You know what I'm saying? Hey, fish, how's it going? Am, am I responsible? Well, I, I'm, I've become more responsible. People are actually relying on me. And whenever people's livelihoods rely on my YouTube performance, that's a fucking, you know, that's never happened before, before this year anyway. Like if my YouTube channel completely failed, that was on me. And I'd have to go get a job at Burger King delivering pizzas or something, right? Um, but now if my YouTube channel fails, it's going to impact people outside my family you know like you know I, I'm part of someone else's income my, my, my success is indirectly linked to someone else's success and it's only going to continue uh, yeah it's uh, unless the YouTube channel fails it's going to continue you know but there's some bright side it's not all negative I mean having sponsors is nice it pays the mortgage it pays bills you know it's also and 
I don't even look at it that way, which is weird for an American because we're all about money over here. But I look at it as um, someone respects me enough to promote their product, right? And so that's that's a whole ego thing, I think, right? And so if someone has a product and they're like, here, you, you chuck this product on your YouTube channel for the next two months. And I'm like, okay, you're going to pay me how much fucking money for that? Okay. <laughs> Apparently Christmas is going to be pretty fucking good this year. <laughs> so, yeah. I wonder, and it's none of my business, and I would never, ever ask this, but I wonder how much a sponsor pays a channel that has over 600,000 subscribers for a, a 60 second mention or ad. It's got to be a, a ton of money. It, if it scales, and it may not scale, but I'm down here at 100000 I'm getting a check for $1. I wonder if the same ad would pay a 600000 channel ad $6. I wonder if it scales that. It probably doesn't. Yeah, it probably doesn't scale like that. But right now, I'm taking my dollar. I'm like, this is nice. I got a shiny dollar bill. You know? But yeah, I would never in the million years ask jingles what he makes off one of his like audible ads he does these very funny audible ads which is he just plays the audible book for 60 seconds as he's making something in his kitchen it's like the the best ad ever low effort gets the message out i love it yeah but i've always been kind of curious it, it, it if it scales like that Uh, Josh, holy shit. I haven't talked to Josh in years. Yeah. Re reconnecting with Josh would help me a lot. I think I need to get past, uh, the falling out Josh and I had a couple years ago. I mean, I'm, I am past it, but you're, you're also, whenever you're friends with someone and then you have a falling out, it's important to let that shit go mentally and then, you know, re reconnect with people. If you cannot do that, that's that's a real problem. And that's something that I've worked on with uh, my I'll call him a shrink. I've been calling, you know, I've worked on I've worked with him a lot on that. And uh, I have a hard time forgiving people. And that's that comes from years and years of abuse, you know. So if you want to hear a sad story, you guys want to hear a sad story? We're not going to make it around this fucking island, are we? I'll tell you what. Let's let's put a torpedo out there. I'm going to tell you guys a sad story. Shit. Why did we lose the wire? Come on, shoot another one. Okay. Um. So whenever I joined the Navy, I never talked to my family again after that. End of story. Because I did not forgive them for what they did to me in my childhood. I even went so far... It was like right before I got into the Navy, I was in this little apartment that we were being evicted out of, by the way, because we didn't have any money. And one day, uh, my mother is in my living room. My roommates had let her in. And I'd, I'd worked nights at, uh, at I was a, a nighttime security guard at a local business. That's how I made my minimum wage job that didn't pay me enough to pay rent. That's why we're out of money. That's why we're being evicted. And so I'm coming in. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. I am exhausted. I'd been up all night. Who the fuck is in, you know, in, in my living room is my mother who I haven't talked to in six months since I moved out. And I just went, I was in shock. I was like, what the fuck are you doing here? And I think I even said that. And then I just went right to bed. I went to the bedroom that we all shared because it was like a one bedroom apartment. It was the only thing we, we could afford and, uh, just went to sleep. And I remember my roommates waking me up and it must've been like, just a few minutes after that, maybe, I don't know who knows what time it was. And they're like, your parents are here. Aren't you going to say anything to them? And I was like, no. And I rolled over and went to bed. That's the level of hate that my family has. And so it's that type of shit that I carry with me even to, to today. And so I, I work very hard on not being that person anymore. There's a place and she's dead now and she's definitely in hell. But um, I couldn't, I couldn't forgive her. So that torpedo was right behind us. CR2 is over here. 
anyway, end of sad story. I don't talk about that shit anymore, but um, I just wanted to relate that to give you guys perspective on the shit I'm working through with, with my doctors. <clears throat> Bum, bum, One of the largest Rust players, one million on YouTube, was offered nine hundred thousand dollars for dedicated Gun, gambling videos. Control, oh wow! Yeah, I've never been offered anything for gambling. I don't think I would do gambling, to be honest with you. Um, just because one, I don't gamble. I don't enjoy gambling. I, it's not my thing. Uh, but it's also very predatory, and people get addicted to that stuff too. So that's not good. I mean, you, you can get addicted to anything, right? Uh, food? I probably have a food addiction, as much as I eat. Um, even though I'm eating better food now, I still eat a lot of it, apparently. But yeah, gambling. Thank God I never got into gambling. Like, uh, as an addiction. Weapon acquired. I think part of me, um, and I'm not very good at math, but I understand math enough to know that putting my money against house money on a game of chance is against my favor by just a little bit a small margin but that margin is enough for me to, to not want to take that chance you know I'm talking about like what's what's, what's a good game of chance like slots r r roulette you know those those types of games people argue that blackjack and poker is a game of skill and I think that they're right so I can't really include that I'm sorry I'm just talking about the random this guy was in our baffles how did he not shoot us Probably because he's a Ming, right? Oh, thanks, John. Yeah, you gave my email. That's fine. Appreciate it. Fair play seeing a doctor you'll be stronger for. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it got to the point to where I could continue without seeing a doctor and just be miserable and, you know, watch everything I've created on Discord fall apart again because that's where it was headed. Or I could do something about it this time. And I decided to do something about it. So hopefully I'll be better. But one thing's pretty clear for me is I have to limit my social media interaction so that I don't spiral into negative thoughts because I have something and I can't remember the freaking name but it's it's catastrophic thoughts where my brain will take something small and basically make a mountain out of a molehill but in a negative way to the point of if you let it go all the way to the bottom it ends in suicidal thoughts you know and now I've never gotten down that far but that's that's where that the the cataclysm it's it's called catastrophic something um anyway and i've got it in spades it's terrible so i can't take anything negative as a small thing anything that's negative is the biggest problem in my life and that's not the way that a normal person thinks so whatever happened to the victor three are, are we done with him okay i'm gonna go ahead and leave combat there was no victor three okay uh, we completely botched the classification on that one. That's how you get fired. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to be cleaning decks in CSES after watch for fucking that up. <laughs> oh, my God. It's okay. Occasionally, this game pulls one over on me. Are we still supposed to be? Hold on. Let me read my briefing again. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be defending Hong Kong, right? Enemy plans to reinforce invasion at Hong Kong. Convoy supply ships believe leaving... Yeah, Shantou, which is just north. Tonka? So, so they should be coming down the coast. Let me make sure that we have everything reloaded. Let's reload this tube here. Anyway, I'm probably overstating the way I feel. So don't think that things are at the end for, for me. It's just as I work through these issues, it is very uh, it's difficult. Okay, we have a new sonar contact bearing 252 on CR1 uh, from the north. And this is a submarine, so this still isn't even our primary target. Let's go to 15,000 yards again, and it'll be it'll be nice if we had some interesting topography to hide behind. Con sonar lost Maybe a little bit closer. For ultra quiet. No, this is deep water. Rose Gaming, how's it going? It says, wow, it's been a year. Sub, do you really enjoy your content? Keep two, it up, bro. Thanks, five, Rose Gaming. One, I appreciate it. Perhaps your past could be treated as a nitsugi, uh, a form of pottery repair uh, using gold. 
it treats the brake there. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'll have to look that up. Hold on a second. Oh, my wife. She's so nice to me. My wife married a crazy person. I feel bad for her. Let me just take a picture of that real quick. Okay. I'm going to look that up after the stream. So I've never heard of that. It's a type of pottery that repairs with gold. It treats the break and repair as part of the history of the object. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that 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 that, that perspective. Um, my my doctor has a lot of comparisons to that, but my problem isn't just social; it's also chemical, which is why I'm on a behavioral uh, med medication. I don't want to go into what what that is. I share way too much online. What am I doing? I'm telling you guys all about my medical shit. <laughs> the fuck? Let's talk about submarines or something. I have a problem with oversharing. Imagine that. I'm American. Yeah. Hey, we found the Alpha. One is classified as submerged submarine. My brain's broken. <laughs> Prevent Jive from murdering people, please. I know. Listen, I was just joking when I said that. I, I, I did I did lose my temper unnecessarily twice in one week on Discord, and that's when I stopped. I was like, I'm off Discord now. What am I doing? I had no reason to be as mad as I was. Yeah. And it's just like I said, it's a chemical thing. It's I can't help myself. But I can help myself, which is what I'm doing. I'm helping myself. But I wasn't helping myself in the moment. Passing 800 feet. It would be fun to resurrect the Jive Turkey, Admiral Chair, old intros for a special event. Maybe. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've got all those saved somewhere. <sighs> Where are they at? Yeah, they're somewhere around here. Passing 900 feet. Yeah, I think that was one of the mistakes that I made. Um, when I rebranded the YouTube channel, that was a smart thing to do. But whenever I made the only subs channel, which, by the way, John did all the artwork for. And he did all the artwork for the Cold Water channels as well. And uh, anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I should have made it Jive Turkey. I should have brought that brand back because nobody else is using it, uh, even though I kind of gave up on it a couple of years ago. But now I've got sub brief. I've got only subs that's fully branded. And then I don't want to make a third channel. I can't do another goddamn YouTube channel. No. Uh, that's just too much. All right, let's go and level off here. Make turns for one, but I, I, I zero, did miss an opportunity to bring Jive Turkey back permanently, and that, that that would have been fun. Two, zero, and I'm not making a third YouTube channel, so don't even don't even think about that. Okay, I don't know how far away this dude is, but uh, we're gonna try and shoot him. Let me slow down a little bit. One, Maybe rebrand only subs. Yeah, None, I could do that, and I'll tell you why. Um, None, five, oh shit! Not. Hold on, snapshot. The dude. Um, I had to stop using the models on the thumbnails because even though those are um, copyright free images, they're not royalty free images. And I'll tell you the big difference there is, is is the models could in the future look at all my thumbnails. And be like, hey, you owe us, you know, six months or a year of royalties for using our image on your thumbnail. Because even though it's a copyright free image, it's not a royalty free image. So I should kind of go back and redo all those thumbnails without the girls. Wow, they shot five torpedoes at us. Holy smokes. Six. They fired everything. <laughs> they fired everything. Oh, my God. What is this torpedo doing? Okay. I swear to God, if you come on me. All right, cool. Is he just gonna do a circle? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> no! Oh, you motherfucker! Fuck you! No! I will not! 
I will not comply. I will not comply. No, sir. You suck a lot. Oh my god, we are so fucked. <laughs> oh my god, okay. We need to go shallow now. Look how fast that damn madcap is. Oh my god, I don't know how to get out of this one, boys. Oh my god. Please don't turn into me. Okay, good, good, good. Oh my god, then we got all these torpedoes up here. Oh my god. Leave me alone, I did nothing to any of you. You okay? I can dodge this motherfucker. I'm not worried about him. I am worried about our own weapon, though. Okay, good. It's going between the two countermeasures. Yes, that's what that tactic is. Never mind. This guy's gonna work. So we talk about it. It should, it should go back to this one. If I've done this right, it should go back to here. Right. Is it going to my depth? I might be changing depth right now. Nope, nope. He's going to the other one. Okay, cool. Luckily, we had both those loaded and ready to go. Hey, we got the alpha. Nice. A little golf clap for myself. A golf clap. No. I hate you so much. Oh my god, my torpedo came after me. Where are we going? Where are we going? Um, okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna launch this last our last decoy. Con torpedo room two two. Okay, I'll stop. Make turns. Con sonar no longer cavitating. Make turns for one. Right for rudder. I'm really shocked that that torpedo locked onto us. Come right to zero nine four helm I. Passing four hundred feet. Con sonar no longer cavitating. Okay. Passing six hundred feet. Passing seven hundred feet. Oh boy. Feet. A little bit of left rudder here. Passing 900 feet. I don't know if we can out dive an ad cap. Passing 1,000 feet. We're gonna try. Passing 1,100 feet. Passing 1,200 feet. Passing 1,300 feet. Passing 1,400 feet. Wow, I think we did. Passing 1,500 feet. Whew. Passing 1,600 feet. Okay. Holy smokes. Boy, I can't, I can't believe you fired all six tubes at us. I don't think I've seen that before. Usually it's three. He did six. Yeah. He shot everything, yeah. Uh, someone in weapons is getting a uh, stern talking to you as to why the weapon came back on me. I know, right? That's one thing about this game that is very unrealistic, is they don't have any of the weapon safeties. <laughs> and those are probably all classified, but they could at least guess. Do your best guess at a weapon safety. <laughs> I know for a fact I cannot talk about weapon safety, so I'm not going to. Come right to zero nine three helm I. Hey, TARDIS, how's it going, man? Yeah, yeah, we're doing some torpedo beats. Uh, almost from our own weapon. Well, I guess, yeah, from our own weapon. We, had, we 
We chucked out three decoys. We expended every one of our decoys. I don't... As you go through... Yeah, all we have is missiles and torpedoes. We gotta go back to Guam just to get more decoys. <laughs> How many torpedoes did most subs carry? Oh, um... I'm pretty sure that's public, right? Well, let's just say more than 20. Okay, more, more than 20 torpedoes. Oh, I'm talking about American boats. I guess for other boats, between 12 and 20. 12 and 20 for a diesel boat, more than 20 for a nuke boat. Because on a diesel boat, every pound matters, every piece of weight. And so you tend to have less torpedo tubes and less torpedoes because um, it cuts down on the storage space and handling gear, as well as each torpedo tube is more than just a tube. It's a whole system of piping and you name it that goes into supporting the torpedo tube. That's all very heavy. And so you'll often have uh, five. I think I've seen five is like the average torpedo tubes. Ironically, that's more than the 688. <laughs> and the Virginia that both have four. Yeah. Con, torpedo it kind of goes against what I was just rating. saying. Yeah. The Russians had a really good idea. They had external torpedo tubes that didn't go to the inside of the people tank. Um, they were literally in the area between the double hull. And uh, they would load them in port, and they would just leave the torpedo in the, in the uh, external tube until they wanted to fire it. And then they would just, you know, fire it if they needed it. And in order to reload that tube, you had to pull in because there was no connection other than an electrical connection to, to, to the inside of the boat. Uh, we got the Alpha, so we should be good to go. We just dodged our own torpedo. That is a feat. I'm actually proud of that. I honestly, whenever I saw, oh no, and now, now there's the fleet. Now that we have to go back to Guam, the fleet shows up. Well, we're going to fail that mission. That sucks. That sucks. Oh, let me catch up on this. So a normal Wednesday then. Yes. Yeah, normal Wednesday. A war crime Wednesday, right? Johnny Clueless says uh, we should sell briefs underwear. Yeah, John had that idea. Um, as selling sub brief underwear. Yeah, I, I told you my freaking the problem I'm having with merchandising right now. And it bothers me that every other streamer does this and doesn't seem to have any problem with it is I can't find a, a, a freaking store that will sell the merch and like do all the admin. Like they'll ship the product to you and charge you all the money and keep it. <laughs> But the freaking state of Michigan that I live in, they want 6% sales tax. And I need to find a store that will pay that and not me. But apparently I have to pay it because it's my store or it's my merch shop. Yeah. I, and I don't know. I, I don't think there is an answer for that. I think in the end I have to pay the sales tax on stuff you guys buy. Yeah. Because if you put the sales tax into the price, this is the problem to explain it then you pay sales tax on that small amount of sales tax, right? It's just crazy. So let's say it's a $20 t-shirt and you're paying six cents on the dollar because that's the tax here in Michigan. So that's a dollar 20. So that $20 t-shirt is actually a $21 and 20 cent t-shirt. So let's say I put that on the store, $21 and 20 cents. I am now paying sales tax, not on $20, but on $21 and 20 cents, which is more than a dollar twenty. It's a dollar twenty-eight. And that difference has to come from somewhere. Michigan wants their money. You know, and it just spirals. The more you embed the the tax into the cost, it increases the tax by just a small amount, a penny. But you gotta pay the penny somehow. So I was like, well, charge the $20 t-shirt and then on checkout, just like you do on any other store have the sales tax at the end. So the sales tax isn't taxed as part of the price. I cannot find a store that does that. It's so bonkers to me. I swear to God, I think other streamers straight up don't pay sales tax. And that's going to bite them in the fucking ass when the IRS finds out about that shit because they want their fucking money, you know? And that's and it's just a headache. And it's a risk. And I just don't want to take it. Yeah, it's such a pain in the ass. But I know I, I know even Jingles, I'm pretty sure Jingles has a has a shop. 
but the laws over there, you guys have VAT taxes. I wish we had a VAT tax because you could put that on the end of a sale and that's it. You pay it. You don't have to at the end of the year or at the end of the quarter, in my case, calculate your sales tax and write a fucking check to the state of Michigan. You know, that's just one more thing on my plate that I don't want to fucking do. Anyway, so that's the update on the, the store. I'm not doing it. Oh, I'm so tired of the tea lambs. Let's get rid of them. Yep, we failed the mission. I get it. Spratly surrender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go back to repairing my shit. Let's get rid of the tea lambs. I'm not doing tea lamb missions today. And we'll take a bunch of... Well, we have so much room in the torpedo room. I love the Seawolf. The freaking torpedo room is huge. Is that right? Let's do that. Okay, here we go. Back in the fight. <laughs> the torpedoes want to go back home. Yeah. Excuse me. I had... um. Uh, a ham omelet for uh, breakfast this morning. I've been kind of a, on an omelet kick. I, I do um, I do eggs every morning for breakfast because of the protein. Um, and then I started adding ham to it, and it turned my eggs into an omelet. And I was like, this is pretty good. Problem with ham, though, is it's salty, and uh, I'm not supposed to have anything with salt in it, which is pretty much all the food in America. Sonar, it's really hard, unless bearing. you're zero, buying literal zero, vegetables zero. from the produce which is what a lot of people do anything you buy that comes in a package probably has salt added to it here in the united states i don't know about other countries and so since i started paying attention to salt it's just crazy what i can't eat or i'm not supposed to eat i eat it anyway you know i'm not supposed to is anybody else on a low sodium diet you love ham i, I love certain kinds of ham it depends on how the ham is seasoned because um there's something here called Black Forest ham, and I don't know what the Black Forest means, but I, I just know that it's not as good as like a, uh, a honey glazed ham. Now, obviously, honey glazed has sugar on it. Another thing I'm not <laughs> you're not supposed to eat, but it tastes better than the Black Forest ham taste, and they're both salty as hell. Ham in and of itself, I wonder if ham is a salty meat naturally, or is that part of the curing process? It's probably part of the process. Black Forest is a region in Germany. Oh, salt and sugar. Yeah, yeah, that's what I agree. Biohazard. There's a yeah. It is literally biohazard. I like your name. That's pretty clever. Which is famous for its hams. Okay, so the Black Forest. I wonder if the Black Forest ham that I bought is from Germany. It better be for as much as I paid for it. <laughs> What's the deal with the cost of the grocery stores? Am I right? Fucking everything's expensive. Like. My, my, my food bill has gone from like maybe $200 a month to easily over $300 a month this year. And you could be like, well, stop eating so much food. Well, okay. Come left I, I haven't, I've had, I haven't increased the amount of food that I, if anything, I've decreased it. But well, the price is out, it's just out of the, prices are just nuts Con right now. Our new contact bearing three, five, and two, apparently they're not three, coming zero, down. I mean, three. inflation may come back down, but the prices are going to be where they're going to be. You know, I'm not trying to be profound or anything, but that's, Passing it's literally that simple. All right. I hear a lot of active, so let's start with surface ships here. Surface ships banging away. It's Consul. Luda. Sierra 1 is classified as escort. What is Sierra 2? Passing 200 feet. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. Zhang Hu. Sierra 2 is classified as escort. Passing 300 feet. Okay. I should have missiled these guys. I got so many missiles on deck. The true cost of diesel prices will remain high. Yeah, because diesel is what's feet. used for uh, getting the food to the stores. I get it. And also harvesting the, uh, you know, bare essentials like corn and any other, you know, field type vegetable. Passing 500 feet. Have I ever loaded the game and had an airdrop? 
in less than 30 seconds. I think I think that happened to us a few years ago. It hasn't happened recently. Passing 600 feet. But yeah, if, if, if that's happening to you, let me... Um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I was going to say make sure you have the right version of the game, but they haven't released a patch in over three years feet. now. I think the last patch was 2019. So however many years ago that was. Yeah. Can a submarine reload weapons while it's down pitch? Yes, because it's all hydraulic now. Yep. It's not like you're depending on human strength to load torpedoes. It's all pistons and whatnot. Feet. Let's see. Who's this? Oh, says another problem in, is Russia limiting the food out of Ukraine, uh, destroying silos and so on. That that does affect global prices. That's true. Now a, a lot of that grain goes right down to Africa. But in terms of a global market, I think you're right. I think it does have an effect. All right, I'm gonna, because this loot is so close, I'm just gonna shoot a torpedo at it. Russia's big poopy, yeah. I, I used to have a lot of respect for Russian, you know, especially submarine sailors. And I can't help but have a little bit of respect for him because we share a common bond. But I am so upset at what Russia's doing to Ukraine that my level of understanding is is at rock bottom. I have very little sympathy for anyone in the Russian military at the moment. Especially in the leadership positions. That's really what, what, what I'm talking about. But All right, let's turn him onto here. Let's see, in September you went to the USS Cod World War II Museum in Cleveland, yes. There's a, um, a couple of museums around the Great Lakes that, uh, well, before the pandemic I wanted to go to. Now that the pandemic's over, I'm kind of not bothered with it, but uh, I know about the one in Cleveland, though. I know the one you're talking about. Salty vegetables. You bet Russia is salting the earth once they leave. Oh, yeah, we'll see. Whenever, you know, eventually, that war is going to come to an end, the Ukraine-Russian war. And when that happens, then we can assess the true damage of everything. Uh oh It's counterfire right there, folks. But um, I, I really hope, honestly, I strongly want there to be like a war crimes investigation that leads to a war crimes tribunal Gun, fire control, weapon acquired. for um, well Russia but you know what if Ukraine did war crimes too, Ukraine too I, you know, I want everyone to be held accountable because some of the footage that I watch um, raw you know first person with their cell phone or GoPro or whatever c coming out of Ukraine some of it's horrific some of it is terrible and, you know, you could say, well, you know, war is terrible, and you're right, it is. But we also have <laughs> rules on how we murder Not each other, you know, which sounds crazy, Zero, but... Two, six. Oh, there's a helicopter coming at us. So, but I, I would also be wrong, I think, to say that uh, Russia is the only one committing war crimes. I bet you... We'll find in the end that Ukraine, some regiments in Ukraine have done things that they weren't supposed to do as well. Don't be surprised if that happens. Where's the thing at? Is that it right there? Con sonar. That's always it. Maker bearing. Found zero, it. Three, zero. Going to be a lot of war crime investigation. Yeah, and what I don't want to have happen is that there be so much war crime investigation that nothing actually gets done. They need to be swift and thorough, just like they did after World War II. But in the age of social media, I don't know if anyone's got the patience for that. Spilfmeister, how's it going, man? Thanks for 17 months. Yeah, we covered that earlier, Celshi, about Russia just ordered a retreat from Harrison. And that is kind of surprising because it looked like they were setting up, or preparing rather, for street-to-street -street fighting. And if that's truly not going to happen, 
that's great because that would have been a bloodbath for anybody still there. And surprisingly, there's still people that live in Harrison. Um, I don't know if I understand that. I mean, like, if I lived in a city in a nation at war, I'd probably move to Canada. I'm very close to the Canadian border where, where, where I live. You know, like, I would get the hell out of there is my point. But I understand not everyone has the means to get the hell out of there. That's that's a, that's a privilege, right? You know, being, since when is being a refugee a privilege? But, you know, some people don't have the physical means to, you know, walk hundreds of miles. Or however they did it. I'm sure people drove and took trains as far as they could go and then walked across the border into Poland and Romania. And, and good on those countries for taking in those refugees all the way back in February. And I, I assume they continue to take them even today. Even though that doesn't get much press coverage. Good for them. After World War II, they were so thorough in investigation war crimes that they found out the British bombers bombed a sub that was carrying a POW mission. Oh, no. Well, I'm sure that wasn't intentional, but it's still tragedy, yeah. There goes the Luda. She be sunk. Oh, it was intentional. Oh, wow. The sub was towing sailors from a ship that had sunk. Interesting. Hey, Hans for real. How's it going, man? Seen a lot of uh, old friends in chat today. Good to see you. Now, Hans, aren't you a moderator for Mr. Uh, Sheriff Eli? Is that where I remember you from? Oh, man. I haven't watched Sheriff Eli in forever. I need to catch up with that old dude. He is one of the best streamers on Twitch. I'm going to go ahead and enable the weapon, send it up shallow. We've got this CR2 coming down on us. So I'm just going to kind of line up with them and see where the paths cross. Oh, that's right. Glitzy. Yes, yes. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of someone I haven't seen streaming forever is Glitzy. How's she doing? I assume she's doing great. Yeah, that's right. You're a mod for Glitzy. I, I remember as soon as you put that up there, I freaking remembered that. Yeah, Glitzy Phoenix is one of the best streamers uh, for Tarkov that I've seen. She's very good at the game. Even she doesn't give herself enough credit, I don't think. And uh, she's freaking hilarious. And I was rooting for her so much because she was trying to move out of her job that she clearly didn't always enjoy and become a full-time streamer. I think last year she finally made that jump. And uh, I was subscribing to her. I was like trying to help her out as much as I could, give her encouragement in the chat without focusing on it because that's not something any streamer wants to focus on. Whenever you make that transition, you want it to be as seamless as possible. So didn't always bring it up. But how, how's she doing now? Had a bit of a family issue the past month. Oh, no, 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 no. Man, oh, yeah, we lost two family members recently, and it's been tough here in our household. It's been real because they were unexpected. I mean, out of the blue. Who's dead? What? It, it was literally that, you know. So I'm sorry. I'm not saying that that happened to her. I'm sorry she's going through her issues. But it does, you know, life happens, right? Life happens. Sometimes it ends. So anyway, I hope, hope everything's good with her. Well, this is interesting. We don't really know how far away this contact is. I hope we didn't pass it. <laughs> uh, where is he at? Oh, we don't have the 3D models turned on, so we can't see. All right. Well, 
Man, they are dropping a lot of sonar buoys right here. You see all these little blinky things? Each one of those is a sonar buoy. There's like five of them, I think. Yeah. Hey, he's evading. He might have heard the torpedo. So we're getting. Uh, that means we're. Control, yeah, there we go. Fire. Let's see. That means we're getting close. There he is. Oh, he was going slow too. Con sonar, noise maker, Probably doing um, zero, helicopter five, operations, three. recovering or something. Yeah, the same thing. Your dad died of a heart attack. Sorry to hear that, dude. Yeah, ours was. Um, I mean, I don't. I don't want to put family fire. business out there. Let's just say it was an unexpected death, and I'll just leave it at that. Like a, a, a young person, and um, tragic as hell. Oh. Anyway, uh, so but we're getting through it. As bearing. you, you don't have any choice. Five, uh, whenever it comes to these personal tragedies, you can't just stop living your own life. You, know, you just have to move on, which God, really is hard to do. I'm sitting there saying that it, as if it's easy, and it's certainly not. Uh oh, we lost the target. God, fire control, weapon hey, fire. required. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I did not steer that, I swear. You guys can't see my hands, but I was not steering that weapon. I just was letting it run. Yeah, you just have to soldier on, right. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. There's a lot of crying. There's a lot of screaming at the clouds saying why. And then when you're done with that, you, uh, you get back in your life, you know, and you just continue on. But yeah, there's been a lot of crying lately, and that just sucks. A whole lot of sadness. All right, Sierra 3, I think, is probably a trawler, but we're going to double check it. Yeah. We also, let's just go to PD. We could, I'm, I'm convinced it's not a warship, but. We're gonna, oh, shit. Someone just dropped a weapon on us. Maybe we should not be going to Periscope Depth <laughs> right now. That's probably an airplane. Yeah, Con see right there? Sierra it's a Chilkin. Okay. So, let's just go here. And we got to get away from the uh, weapons and the airplane. That's bad. So, let's just do this. Come right two, two, nine. And Make we're just going to haul ass. Three, five knots. Maneuvering eye. Let me get my plane leveled out. There we go. Okay, Heli Pilot said, uh, U.S. midterms, Sierra, can you explain why it's bearing, important? Three, five, nine, well, we try not to talk about painted. politics here, man. Um, so, room, here's the deal. Ready. I've had a revelation. I apologize to anybody who was here at the beginning of the stream, because I'm going to repeat a story. But now that this, this part's going on YouTube, so i got to repeat this one story. Uh, I'm very privileged here in Michigan to live where I live because my neighbors are affluent. They're more, much more affluent than I am. One of my neighbors works in politics and it has been eye opening to see someone that works professionally in politics that I can talk to every time I'm walking my dog, you know, you know, so I have like, I feel like an insider's view into American politics that I've never had before. And I am going to be very blunt with you guys. It doesn't matter where I live, who's in office at the local level or at the national level, being um, a representative, senator, Congress does not matter. It doesn't matter the party, doesn't matter the person. Because even though each one of those people has their own vision and dream about what um, they're going to do whenever they become the senator for Michigan or the governor of Michigan, the only thing that actually gets done, despite their dreams and wish list, is what the people paying them money for their re-election campaign, Nine, putting money into their three, campaign fund, three, that is five, the only stuff that actually has to get done. Because they got to keep those dollar bills coming in if they want to maintain their privileged lifestyle as a senator, 
congressman. Congressman's very popular right now. Um, and then, of course, local. The, the local government is actually not that bad, I have to admit. I live, I'm very lucky to live in a place that doesn't appear to have a lot of corruption or they're really good at hiding it, okay? So I'm not going to lump my local guys into this. But definitely at the state level and then congressional level nationally, yeah, it's all about the money. And this is, this is coming from a lobbyist. That's his profession. He, he actually wears the hat of a CEO. This is one of my neighbors. And uh, so, but his job, his full time job as the CEO of a company is to lobby in Lansing, Michigan, which is our state capital, and occasionally Washington, DC. And his full time job is to meet with these politicians on a schedule for 15 minutes or an hour, however much time they're, they're going to give him, And he's going to represent someone's interest, his client's interest. In the case of his company, his company's interest. And so he's going to these politicians and says, hey, we really could use tax breaks on my product that I sell, or we could use um, subsidies on the products that I sell, tax breaks or subsidies, either one, or we could have a policy that encourages, um, you know, production of the product or discourages competition that's on the that's on you know cre create a law because these guys are lawmakers um up at the congressional level that will limit competition for his company those are just four examples and he's got like they have strategies around these examples of even more examples so they go to the person in charge republican democrat man woman doesn't matter and they say hey this is what's important to us here's a donation to your re-election campaign can you help us out? And there is no signed agreement. It is just an understanding that in their two or four years or six in the case of a senator, they're going to attempt to do something to make that person's life better. The person that gave them the money with whatever they talked about. So when you go and the whole reason why I'm telling you the story is everybody went to go vote yesterday. All you did was select who's getting the check didn't do anything else and that's the reality of it if you want to make a change in the United States you don't do it at the voting booth you do it with a checkbook Hey, they came down to find us. We are going to fuck them up. All right, let's get some decoys ready. Uh, we'll have a couple torpedoes ready for them, and I'm just going to unload some harpoons on them. Uh, we want to keep them at 20,000 yards. We're going to be at periscope depth. So we're going to do two. We're going to launch both these guys defensively, do a full harpoon attack, and then evade like crazy. They're bearing th three, two, eight. On sound, our new con Rig ship for ultra quiet. Oh boy, I might have fucked up. Oh, it's not a fleet. Oh, I Weren't you deep? Let's go. Please, let's go now. Can we please go? Okay. Mass lowered. Fire control, we've lost the wire. Yay, left Gone the rudder. Fire control, we've lost the wire. Passing 100 feet. Con sonar lost contact. Master one, last bearing three. Passing 200 feet. Con sonar lost. Passing 300 feet. Passing 400 feet. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Passing Holy shit. <laughs> That's a good shot. That shot was right on top of us. Passing 700 feet. Oh, man. Passing 800 feet. I think we'll outdive it. Passing 900 uh -oh. feet. Oh, crap. Passing 1,000 feet. I don't, I don't know how Passing deep this guy's going to come. Con sonar, torpedo in the water. Uh -oh. Torpedo in the water. Bearing 1, ah. eight, 8. Oh crap, he's coming right down on top of us. Leave me alone! Passing 1400 feet. There's nothing new. Passing 1500 feet. Crap. Passing 1600 feet. Oh shit, that's the bottom. Passing 
100 feet. That's the bottom. Let's just do this. Okay, he's gonna come on me, that's fine. Um, this is a good course. So we are gonna have to dance with this guy right here. Does he not see me? Hold on. Ooh, hold on. I don't know why, but he may not see us. Con maneuvering, making turns for three, five, nine. Con helm, steady course. Uh, let's see. Bart says interesting topic of study is how we cleaned up corruption in New York City before becoming president and breaking up massive monopolies. Yeah. I, I honestly don't believe anybody wants to clean up the corruption. I mean, I guess maybe voters do. But guess. Guess who doesn't get to decide that? The voters don't. I think I just found a life hack. I'm at 1,800 feet, and these torpedoes don't see us. Do these airdrop torpedoes have a, uh, a floor that they don't go beneath? Because if that's the case, this is like cheating. All right, time to do science, boys. I'm going to drive under this torpedo at 1,800 feet. I'm just curious to see if it, if it will see me. Are the depth charges still used? Um, yeah, I'm sure they will. I'm sure we'll get depth charged. But uh, so that's torpedo. He's at maybe fourteen hundred feet, roughly. I don't know. Sonar, oh shit! Bearing, three, Please two, don't be depth eight. charges because we're driving right under that. Oh man. Uh oh. Okay, I don't see any depth charges Con, coming down. Steady course. Um, we're going to go right Come underneath. Left two, three, two, nine, helm this is really dumb. Don't do this, by the way. But I'm just seeing uh, the torpedo. Why'd you blow up? Con, helm, steady uh, so I think they don't go down to 1,800 feet. I think. Hmm. How do I play this game for five years and not know this? Oh, there were depth charges. Okay. It just took a while for them to come down. Oh, man, everything's blown up. That loot is evading the torpedo. That's awesome. All right, let me go grab this torpedo. I want to do science on it. Yep. Hopefully this one doesn't run out of fuel. I'm just going to go up. on. I'm going to let it see me, and I'm going to come back down to 1,800 feet. I'm going to see if it follows me. we got to be a little bit careful here. This could really... We gotta give ourselves enough time to get back down. All right, he's still dancing with our torpedo. That's fine. So these are the little airdrop torpedoes. I want to make sure I'm close enough. Yeah, he's definitely gonna see me. We just gotta wait for him to come back. Oh, fuck. All right. Science will have to wait. Passing seven hundred feet. Come right to three, two, eight. Helm I. Next time they drop air, drop torpedoes on us. We're going to take it down below uh, 1,800 feet. Con sonar regained contact on. Master one bearing three, three, two. Come right to three, two, seven. Helm I. Oh, Con, helm, oh hey, we have a new course. contestant. Uh oh, does he, he doesn't see us yet. Con knuckle formed. Passing 500 Come feet. Come on, see us. I'm right here. How does he not Passing see? Any other day, I wouldn't want this. Today, I want this. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna. We're gonna level out. I'm gonna get far enough away where he can see us. Because right now, I think we're literally too close. Passing we're like right under him, feet. and it do, it, the torpedo do, doesn't look straight down. Passing so we're gonna come out away from him. Feet. On this time around, he should see us, and we're gonna go down to 1,800 feet. And then science will be complete. Okay. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo Torpedo in the water. water. Bearing, We're just going to dive. Zero, three. We have to get 1,200 feet before he closes about 1,200 feet. feet. So can we dive faster than he can close us? He's probably a 40 feet. knot torpedo. We're doing 35 knots, so 5 knots of closure. We should feet. be able to make it. Passing 1, feet. We 
should make Advancing it. 1100 feet. Do it with science. Hey, State CA, how's it going? Oh yeah, I should reload. <laughs> Someone in the chat's like, reload? Passing 1500 feet. All right, we're almost there. 1500 feet. We're gonna go down 1800 feet. Oh fuck! Passing 1700 feet. 1700 feet. Okay. Oh yeah, no, he's coming down to our depth. Okay, I thought I'd found a life hack, but no. We are still almost as fast as this torpedo. I think the torpedo has a five knot advantage on us. So eventually he'll catch up to us. But we'll just change depth again. And he won't know what to do. Hey, Rob Films, how's it going? Oh, Steamy, thank you for 51 months. I missed it. I'm sorry, brother. I don't have my, my bots up, but it's not on the screen right now. Steamy. Steamy's one of the OGs, man. From the great city of Amsterdam. I don't, I don't know if he actually lives in Amsterdam, but I always assume that he did. Tell everybody where you live, Steamy. No, don't do that, dude. I'm just joking. Con, torpedo road, two point ready. Steamy, as you might guess, is a train fanatic. So let's do a little wiggle waggle. too, I guess. I was going to give him a little knuckle. So you can't really outrun the torpedoes, but you can run long enough that they run out of fuel if you have enough of a head start. Oh, freaking aircraft. Uh, where are we going to go? Passing 1,700 feet. Let's go to the east. Passing 1,600 feet. Come right to zero, nine, zero, You're nine. from Denmark. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. I did it again, and I didn't even mean to. I usually joke that I don't know the difference between Denmark and Netherlands. <laughs> and in this case, I actually didn't. Oh, shoot. <laughs> hey, Hans Real, thanks for gifting a sub to Mike. Mike Prozac, yeah. <laughs> I know, every time. I, I, I'm sorry, Steamy, Jesus. I don't know why you still hang out with me. I, I insult you so much. And I don't mean to, but I freaking do. Oh, more depth charges. Man, they are on top of us. What I don't like is the depth charges are exploding at our depth. So, so they know that we've gone deep. And that's really bad because at this depth, the depth charges just, just have to get close. Because the pressure is so intense. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I've never been a navigator. I've never been, I know the N in sonar stands for navigation, but that's never meant anything. That's, that, that, that's why we have quartermasters, which I understand is confusing because according to Jingle's videos, a quartermaster in the Royal Navy, oh shit, they're, they're getting closer with those explosions, is someone that runs the store, like the ship's pantry or something. And a quartermaster in the United States Navy is someone that navigates the freaking ship. An enlisted man makes sure that, that basically that we are where we think we are. Granted, the officers drive the ship. That's their job. But it's an enlisted man that verifies our actual position. And we call that person a quartermaster. So two completely different jobs in two very similar navies. I mean, our navy was basically based on the Royal Navy at the very beginning. And we still have these close you know, similarities. But for some reason, the term quartermaster got completely misused by the American Navy. So hold on a second. What the hell? What do the... What does the Royal Navy call the people, the enlisted people, that take care of the charts and make sure our position is accurate? What's that called? Does anyone know? I, I don't think I, I don't think Jingles is here right now. So sometimes he pops his head in. But what does the Royal Navy call a navigator that's an enlisted man? Hmm? What's that called? A wanker. <laughs> oh, you money, you me. We 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 can be friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wanker is a term um, I did not hear very much until I started watching uh, Formula One. And there is this crew chief, crew uh, prince, team principal, I think is his name, uh, Con, for the Haas team. And every time people fuck up, he calls them wankers. Or we're looking like a bunch of wankers around here. And it's so funny. 
because he's got like this Austrian German accent and he says it in almost a loving way, but he's so pissed off. Like he's really mad. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't ask Jingles. Uh, if Jingles is here, I'd definitely ask him, but I don't always assume Jingles is here because he's got, he's got things to do besides watch my dumb ass. <laughs> and plus it's also not fair because, and, and I feel the same way. Whenever Jingles comes into our chat, we love him to death here. We are, we are all huge salt mine fans here. Um, but he also kind of takes over the stream and that can feel uncomfortable for him because he's not here to take over the stream and get all the attention and get everyone in chat talking to him instead of paying attention to me and what we're doing. Um, even though I'm 100% fine with that, I understand that that makes him feel uncomfortable because whenever I go onto a stream of someone that knows me, and this is a much smaller scale, obviously. I almost don't want to say anything because I don't want the stream, at least the chat version of the stream, to become about me and my presence there. This happens sometimes with Sheriff Eli. Sheriff Eli is a huge YouTube streamer, much bigger than I am. Um, but there's a lot of crossover between our two communities, which is great. Um, so, but whenever I go there, I, I tend to just chill until somebody notices me because some people keep the names, the list of names up on, you know, and they say, oh, Subbrief, hey, how you doing? And then once I respond to one person, it usually turns into a lot of uh, just hello, you know, something simple. And, but I don't like taking the attention away from the streamer. But I also like, I also like watching Sheriff Eli because he's pretty fucking good. <laughs> he's a funny guy, you know. Did I miss the news today? Yeah, we did news for over an hour today. It was a very long segment. We we had people in chat begging for cold waters. They're like, please stop talking. We don't care about this. We just want to see the submarine blow up. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. Come right to so if you look one, at the chain two, of sonar buoys, nine. they definitely have our new course, right? So the next overpass is probably going to be an attack. Uh, assuming he's got weapons left these these aircraft will go Winchester after they dropped a certain number of weapons But it's usually a lot, you know, if, if it's an airplane if it's a helicopter it could only be one or two drops Well, it's always more than one At least two drops, but if it's an airplane like the p3 Orion overhead You know, he'll drop a lot of weapons before he runs out. But I think he might have run out Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah, I feel kind of the same way with uh, with glitzy, you know love her to death I don't want to be the center of attention, but unfortunately, Glitzy's community and my community, there's less crossover, uh, which in a way is kind of good because I can talk in that chat and then not become the center of attention for five minutes, you know? That's, that's why I made, you guys are going to laugh. I have no kidding about five Twitch accounts. I do. Five Twitch accounts. And so sometimes I'll log on to my other Twitch account. I'm not going to tell you the names of these other guys. And I can just be a, like anonymous. And I can talk in chat as like an unsubscribe guy for to, to whatever channel I'm on. I have to watch the ads. That's the problem with doing that because I don't, I'm not going to subscribe to one channel on two different accounts. I, I don't, I'm not, I don't have that much money. I, I didn't win the Powerball last night. Which, by the way, one person won two billion dollars, billion with a B last night or two nights ago, however many nights ago it was. It's been recent. Two billion dollars. And uh, I think it's 25% goes to the state of California because that's where the ticket was purchased. 33% goes to um, the federal government. So what's 25 and 33? Like that's 58. So they get to keep 42% of two billion dollars. Someone do, do, do the math on that. What is 42% of two billion, it's like eight hundred million or something like that, right? Yeah, it, it, it's crazy. I can't. Can you imagine becoming a billionaire overnight? Now, granted, they don't quite make it to the billion mark because of the taxes, but just imagine for a moment waking up one morning knowing that you have a winning lottery ticket that's worth a billion dollars. <laughs> That's just no, I can't even imagine that. First of all, that must come with an enormous amount of stress. Because 
your whole life is about cashing that lottery ticket wisely. And here's something to think about. Like if you have a large winning, um, you know, let's say a lottery ticket, a couple hundred million dollars, you know, it, it might behoove you to take that ticket, put it in a, like a fireproof box so you don't lose it because you need that thing and the, like, handcuff it to you if you want to. <laughs> and then, um, but then go talk to a lawyer and like establish a shell company or a trust fund, but establish a legal entity that will cash the, um, the ticket. So don't sign it if you're going to do that. Cause the person that signs it and bears it is the person who gets publicized. At least I don't, I don't know how California works, but whenever um, the people in Florida won the lottery, the state of Florida for promotional reasons said you could not be anonymous. They would use the name of the winner. So some people, and I think this is smart, would go establish a shell company called I just won the lotto.com or whatever they want to name their company. And so that name is the name that the Florida lottery would use in their commercials as the winner of the ticket instead of the real person's name. Cause the problem with winning a large sum of money like that and having your real name attached to it, every scam artist in the globe and the world is going to come after you. You think I get a lot of fucking phone calls? I get at least four to five scam phone calls a day. Their phone, they might as well not even have a telephone. For a billion dollars, you can afford to have an assistant to answer your phone for you, I guess. Yeah. Oh, family too. Well, I tell you what, I mean, if I, if I want a large sum of money like that, everybody in my family is never going to have to work again because I am sharing that shit with them for sure. But that's just me. Uh, Mike Carroll, he was 9.7 million. What happened to Mike Carroll? Is that a good story or lottery is a tax on people that don't understand odds? Yeah, that's true. I, that's why I don't buy lottery tickets or gamble. I don't do any of that stuff. It's not my jam. This damn airplane won't leave me alone. It would be family that never talked to you though. Well, my family's not that big. We have a limited number of people. And if we had a couple hundred million dollars, I think we could work things out. Yeah. I think I think a lot of families, and I, I don't know why this is, but we're lucky. A lot of families have extended family, like sisters of sisters, uncles of uncles. We don't have that. I don't know what happened, but our family tree got pruned. You know, so we've got we've got one step in every direction. We have one uncle, we have one aunt, one cousin, couple cousins. Those are, the, those are the kids. But it doesn't go any farther than that, you know. Mike Carroll won 9.7 million in the UK and spent every last penny and had to, he had quite a ride. Yeah, I guess. I mean, that's a hell of a ride if you spend 9.5, and that's pounds, right? That's not even dollars. Pound is worth more than a dollar, which I think is pretty unfair. We need to fix that shit. What's going on with this pound bullshit? The dollar should be the most valuable currency in the world, and it's not. And I don't understand why. Maybe maybe some of you guys know. I mean, generally. If, if someone genuinely knows why the U.S. dollar is not the most valuable currency in the world, please explain it to me like I'm a five-year-old. Because I don't get it. On sonar, new contact, Baron. Bring ship for ultra-quiet. The UK government is fixing that. I, I've heard that... Well, one, every country in the globe is going through like a recession right now, um, including the United States, of course. Hell, I think we started it, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I, I've heard that the UK is having a hard time and they keep firing prime ministers or they keep resigning. I'm like, I don't get that. I understand it's a thing in the UK to resign your position. But here in the United States, we don't resign from shit. We're like, I don't care how fucked up it is. I think that's because, and I'm kind of cynical here, at the federal level, our politicians do not give a fuck. All they care about is the bribe. All they care about is the money. The campaign contribution, that's all they care about. That's the way our system is set up. So, there you go. In part of a commercial deficit? Oh, I think somebody's actually trying to explain this to me. Because you can make money by exporting U.S. inflation 
printing with less consequences. Oh, that's true. And especially recently, like since 2016, we have been printing money like it's going out of style. And it's only been recently in like the last year. Yeah, I'll say the last year because I'm not sure when it started. The Fed finally stopped printing money and began collecting money and not putting it back into circulation again. Which I think is what triggered the freaking recession. But you can't keep printing money forever because then you devalue the whole system. So at some point they had to stop and give them credit. They did it for like six years, printing money like it was gonzo. And, you know, they got away with it. A lot of people made a lot of money over the last six years. Do you, do you know what sucks in this boom bust cycle of economy we have? Is the boom only benefits a limited number of people, but when the when the bubble bursts, everybody suffers. Everybody, you know. So it's not a uh, it's not an equal trade. You know, if if everyone benefited from the boom, and I guess you could argue that everyone at some level benefits from the boom, but some animals are more equal than others, right? As we've learned. And so the benefits are not always the same. I should probably classify these contacts before I shoot them. Hmm. Nah. We should probably see what it is. Uh oh. Oh, it's a Luda. I knew that. One is classified as escort. I knew that. Why are we going deep? Con sonar Sierra Two is classified as escort. You disagree that everyone suffers? Well, I guess you could insulate yourself from the suffering if you have, you know, a lot of money and good investments. Because there, you can make money in a decreasing market or a failing market, whatever you want to call it. Whenever a market is, is crashing, you can bet against the market with a security and make money that way. I don't know where that money comes from, but somehow make money that way. Yeah. Uh, I'm at the end of my knowledge of trading Passing 800 feet. I, I am I am a uh, I'm, I'm a stonk ape I don't understand it I give the market my money and it keeps it <laughs> that's, that's 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 my understanding of markets uh, let's see Mike says uh, you benefit from inflation now my mortgage uh, payment God, despite being control, 600 acquired. pounds or euros rather affects me about half after the inflation in real value. Your mortgage payment, despite being 600 euros, affects me only about half after inflation. Hmm. Is that because the value of the euro has gone up? Is that is that why? So I assume that you have a fixed mortgage, which would make sense, most of us do. And the value of the euro has gone up, therefore making it easier to make your 600 euro payment? Am I, am I reading that right? Fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. You agree? Okay, let's see. Johnny says, you agree to buy at a set price from someone. If it hits that price, they already agreed to pay. Gun, they pay fire you. Control, weapon acquired. Oh, that's where the money comes Gun, from. Zone, okay. Bearing, two, Dude, you guys are so freaking smart. Okay, okay. Yeah. You guys are like on a next level. It's really weird. You guys should be the streamer. Gun, fire control, I, weapon acquired. I don't know how any of this shit works. I should be watching you. <laughs> what the fuck? How did I end up here? I don't know. This is just odd. <laughs> the the, the uh, title of the next stream is going to be, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> Read chat. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the next stream. Oh, my God. Hey, we took him out. Take that. Oh yeah, sinking. You go sink somewhere. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we're gonna get this one too. Oh, everybody say YouTube thumbnail. Yeah. You did it. Sometimes I can't get enough of myself. <laughs> All right. I need to get up and stretch my legs and take a quick break. Uh, whatever we come back, we are going to do some Master of Orion. 
And uh, But this will be the end of the cold water. So those of you that are here for the cold waters content, have a great day. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. Uh, but I need to get some blood in my feet because I'm sitting here for so long. Uh, we'll, we'll be back in like five minutes. I'm going to take the dog out. I'll turn on some music for you, okay? Don't go anywhere. We'll, we'll, we'll be back in five. All right, let's turn on some music. The people demand music. But it must be royalty free so I don't get sued. Well, here we go. It's kind of nice. <laughs>